Hi, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Take a look at this great quilt behind me. Isn't this a lot of fun? These colors are so bright and pretty and it looks like you did so much work, but we've got an easy way for you to do this. So to make this quilt, I used a layer cake of these cotton solids from Riley Blake. Such great colors. I mean, just really fun colors. And I also used a layer cake of white 10 inch squares. And um, you can use yardage as well. If you use yardage, it's about uh, two and three quarter yards or two and a half yards, somewhere around there. But, um, but I'm using a layer cake and I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna need this wedge ruler. This is the key to making this so simple. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make that block. So when you're ready to make the block, what we're gonna do, it's made with half square triangles. So the half square triangles are made the way I make them. And what we're going to do is we're going to put two squares together and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside edge like this. And then we're going to cut it diagonally from corner to corner. So since I already have this sewn together, we'll just go ahead and cut it diagonally corner to corner. You just line up your ruler like that. And we're going to make that cut and then we're going to go this way and make the next cut. This is such a great way to make half square triangles because it's so much faster. All right, so now we're gonna take these over to the ironing board. And let me make sure. I have so many lines on my mat that sometimes when I cut, if I run over a line, it doesn't, it leaves a thread. <laughs> I guess I need a new mat, don't I? <laughs> Who could I talk to about that? I mean, really. <laughs> All right, so let's iron these open. So I'm over here and I'm just gonna uh, leave, I leave all my colors in the same position. So the red on top or the dark on top, and then I'm just gonna roll these back. And this is a fun combination here, red and green. Set my seams and roll them back. Now one of the keys to putting this block together is leaving these going the same direction. So we're gonna make a little stack of them and they're all gonna be facing the same way and we're just gonna set those aside for a minute. The next part of this block is the wedge. And I have four, uh, four squares stacked up here and I'm gonna cut my wedges at once. You do whatever you're comfortable with you wanna make sure they are lined up exactly. When you use the, um, the large simple wedge ruler, you're gonna put the edge of the ruler on the edge of your layer cake. So I say you put your, your edge, your wedge on the edge. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it this way so I can cut with my left hand. And I cut off the end down there and then I just come across here and cut straight across. You can do it however you want. So then I have these wedges right here. Let me get that little line again. If you ever find that you're having trouble um, uh, cutting, see how this line is right here? Because it's sunken down in further, then that makes a thread catch. So sometimes it's not your blade at all. It's just it's just how the how your how your mat is, the shape your mat's in. So then I'm going to line my wedge up on the other side of the square here, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this straight across like that. So you have this little bit of waste, but that's it. And I've got these great wedges here. So the next thing we have to do is iron the wedges in half. So we're gonna take these wedges like this and I just fold them right in half. And by in half, I mean the long way like this. So I'm folding it the long way, just like you'd, you, if you were making a paper airplane. <laughs> I made a few of those in my day. <laughs> my boys used to make like garages for their paper airplanes. They had all kinds of different paper airplanes. And this is how you begin a paper airplane. So I'm just ironing these down. The, the, we're ironing these in half and that's going to be our sew line. So now I've got my pieces all ironed 
and we've got to line up our blocks. So you want to keep your blocks going in the same direction and your wedge is going to be sewn across the seam and that's why it's important to keep that in the same. So I have a few done here, right here like this and see, see this is the look we're going to. So let's sew a few of these on so you can, uh, you can see exactly what we're doing. We're going to take our wedge and we are going to lay it, the point, right up in the corner. It doesn't really have to go over. And we're putting, we're lining up the edge right here. So let me make sure you can see this really good. So we're lining up the edge of the wedge on the edge of the block. It's crossing over the two. And we're going to sew right here on this fold line. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. Okay, so I like to start at the top. I like my, the point of my wedge to be right in the corner. And I'm going to lift up my needle and I'm just going to slide this under there just a hair. And I'm going to start sewing down. Now I'm sewing on the fold line. So that's important, that's important to remember. On the fold line that we, that we pressed into our wedge, we're sewing along there. And I'm going to make sure this is lines up on the edge and on the fold line. All right. Now we're going to bring that over here and I'm going to trim these threads off right here. And then I'm going to fold this back and I'm going to go ahead and press it back. It should be pretty pressed because we, we, um, we pressed it to begin with. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this extra piece off right here. I'll move those out of the way. That would be a terrible mistake to make cut into those. So I'm just going to cut straight across and cut this piece off right here. Then I want to cut away this extra fabric back here. So I'm going to open up my wedge and I'm going to lay my ruler on the stitch line so that it sticks out about a quarter of an inch and just trim that off. So that's all you do to make this block. So I have a little stack of them here, but I think we should cover this one more time. So let's take one of these red and green ones, and I'm just going to sew this one more time so that we're sure you've got this. So again, we have our wedge. We've ironed it in half. We are putting it at the top of the red, and you just have to decide what color you want it on. The point at the top, lining it up along the edge, we're sewing on our press line. So let's sew it one more time. Because this is the key to this quilt, I just felt like we just need to make sure you've got it. All right, and, it, and you're gonna have uh, some extra at the bottom, so you, we just sew right off that edge. I'm gonna iron this down again. Make sure it's laying right over there, nice. Then we'll use our square as a pattern. Cut that bottom part off right here. Then we're going to open up our wedge and, um, and just put this on the stitch line. Just line it up a quarter of an inch from that stitch line. Oh, I'm doing it just the wrong way. I almost cut into my block. Make sure you don't cut your block in half. That would have been terrible. Whew, I'm glad I saw that. <laughs> I bet out there you're all going, no, no, don't do it. <laughs> all right, we're on the right place now. We're cutting that off. <laughs> we lay it over. Whew, crisis averted. All right, so you're going to do four of those. So now let me show you how these go together because this is really cool. So you, your fat part right down here is what meets together. And you're putting it together just like you'd put a pinwheel together. So see how we're doing this? The fat part turns in like this. So then you're just going to sew your two halves like this. You're going to sew your two halves and your two halves and then you put your block together. So let's go ahead and sew these two halves. Make sure your block is lined up. Nice little straight edge. There we are. And then the next one, 
this one right here. We'll grab it and put it together. And I just like to make sure they're lined up on the outside as well. And then, then we're going to open this up and we are going to sew this together. So let's iron this real quick. We'll just press it open. And then we'll press this one open right here. And then we're going to lay these together like this. And put these together and make us a block. You want to make sure your middle seam is lined up. As long as your seam allowances on the outside of your block are even, you shouldn't have any trouble with your size either. So let's press this open. And there's our block. So when you're ready to put your blocks together, I laid them out on the floor. I have, a, I, have a, I have the design floor. I don't have the design wall, I have the design floor. Anyway, you put them out wherever you can see them and um, you just lay them out so your colors are well balanced. And then I put an inch and a half sashing in between each block and then in between the rows as well. It just gives it a little bit of, you know, pizzazz and pops those blocks. You can leave out the sashing if you want, really whatever you'd like. This um, border here is one yard. It's eight strips, four inches wide, and it just makes a really cool, quick quilt. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Wedge Star from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.